The 3950X is here and it is the real deal. I did actually buy a 3950X. At the moment, we are using the AMD 2700X. Right there, we've got a 360 millimeter big boy liquid cooler. So hopefully we're gonna be good when it comes to temperatures. Where this gets exciting though is I'm gonna be using the previous gen motherboard so I'm sticking to X470. Luckily, I do have a pretty decent X470 board. Right, so this is the motherboard that I have and uh, this is the CPU. Yeah, finally upgrading, I'm sticking to the same motherboard. Luckily, this motherboard does actually support the 3950X. I just need to make sure I do the right BIOS updates and we good fam. So uh, with that said, I'm gonna show you why I even bought the CPU in the first place. Today's kind of gonna be a little bit of a vlog. Now we got Adobe Premiere up and right here this is what I use to edit my videos and you're gonna see right here we got task manager as well keep an eye on my CPU usage that is high okay this is like really really high CPU usage Adobe I think finally got an update and it's really taken advantage of the 2700x to the point where whilst my CPU right now is just capped like I can't edit this video it is gonna be so laggy and so freaking choppy like I'm scrolling through the timeline Look how, look how long I have to wait. I can't believe that. The footage that I'm working with, it's 4K 60 FPS B-roll that I'm trying to stabilize. The setup tour video took me multiple days to edit because I would come to edit the video. Like I'd be sitting here, I'd be working on it. And, and then I literally have to sit here and wait for like 10, 20 minutes for everything to process. Basically, I really needed the CPU upgrade. Like I wanna edit these videos nice and smooth because then when Adobe Premiere is acting nice and smooth, I can pump out way more videos that I don't have to sit here just waiting for things to render, for things to stabilize, like bruh. So that's why I got the CPU, now you know. And we are finally done, okay. I believe the highest I got with the 2700X was 4089. I'm pretty sure these are my test results. And I do wonder where the 3950X is even gonna place in here. I have no idea what score that usually gets on Cinebench, but we gonna find out, we gonna find out. I probably would have never even considered upgrading the CPU for many, many more months now. Like the 2700X is still a very capable CPU and it does a very, very nice job for like most tasks. But the moment I started playing around with 4K 60 FPS footage, yeah, that CPU really began to show its weak points. So 3950X baby, hopefully this thing actually works in my motherboard and I haven't just wasted my money. Let me go into BIOS, mate. What am I waiting for? How is this taking so long? We are on version 3004, fam. We good, we good. So we can just pop this CPU in and um, goddamn, hopefully things will just work, yeah? The moment of truth, will she boot up? Okay, so far so good. It turned on at least, that's a good sign. By the way, one more thing I did is I actually screwed that RGB SSD into the case instead of just sticking it on because it would often just fall and lean against the graphics card. And that's probably not very good, but now it's all screwed in. Um, the PC it turned on, but nothing's happening. Please work. What are the BIOS codes even saying? I really hope this PC works. It just says OD. What do you mean OD? What are you overdosed on fam? What are you talking about? OD, OD, come on, there is no, there's no problems, right? It's just stuck on OD. It's been, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 minutes or something. I've managed to get the PC to boot after doing a bunch of troubleshooting. Turns out it was the RAM. I had to take out two bits of RAM in order to even get this PC to boot up and get past the error code 0D, you can always Google the error codes that your motherboard shows up and hopefully you can identify the problem. Most of the time that I've encountered problems with PC builds, whether it's this one or previous PCs I've had or just worked on, funnily enough, that's genuinely how I fixed most of my like motherboard error code problems. I just take out like one or two RAM sticks and then the PC just, just works fine. One thing's for sure though, is I am going to enable the DLCP standard 
So we're gonna overclock the memory. Well, not even overclock it. We're just gonna leave it at what it is. But the memory that we are using does actually have pretty nice timings. 14, 14, 14, 34. Pretty nice timings right here. And this is gonna run at 3200 megahertz. I'm happy with these settings. Please turn on. <laughs> I really hope I don't get any more problems and I can just like pop the RAM back in because I don't know at what point I can pop the RAM back in it. Legit refused to boot up if I had those two RAM sticks in. But now that I've... Hey, what are you doing? Now that I've like got the BIOS to hopefully to a point where it works, you know what I mean? What are you doing? Bruh, what kind of error code is it telling me now? It's giving me anxiety. This CPU is giving me freaking anxiety, dude. I'm looking at all them error codes because like, you know, I just got a new CPU. I want things to work. Can you boot up into Windows, please? Preparing automatic repair. There's nothing that needs to be repaired. I haven't done anything. I've not, I've, I swear I've not broken this. There's nothing to diagnose. I just want to put my RAM back in. Stop, Dyke. Your PC didn't start correctly, mate. I don't care. Just, just go into Windows. Once it gets into Windows at least once, I'll put the RAM back in. If I end up in a situation where I can't have 32 gigs of RAM and a 3950X on an X470 motherboard, that's gonna suck. Cause I've just upgraded my CPU, but then I downgrade and I just half my RAM capacity. How sick would that be, dude? Um, okay, we have booted up into Windows. Holy crap, that is awesome. Very happy that at least we can boot up into Windows now. Let's, oh, look at Task Manager. Look at them cores, baby. Oh my God, we got 32 threads. This CPU is just, it's a bargain for what you get. It's even boosting to like higher CPU clock speeds and the IPC improvement. Oh my God. Okay, motherboards, the motherboards are back. The motherboards, I'm calling my monitors motherboards. I'm losing my mind here. I'm just like really excited about this new CPU. For real though, Look at them threads, dude. 3950X. Oh, this is just beautiful. I hope Adobe Premiere can handle this. Adobe Premiere can handle 16 threads, but can you handle 32, mate? Can you handle 32? All right, let's pop the RAM back in now that we're in Windows. Because, dude, I'm not living life with 16 gigs of RAM. 16 gigs is more than fine if you're just gaming or something. I'm trying to edit videos out here, dude. So we're going to shut down, hopefully we can have 32 gigs of RAM and the new CPU at the same time. What I've done here is I've doubled my core count, I've doubled my thread count, I've stayed on the same motherboard, in the same CPU socket, everything's the same and it freaking works, man. How awesome is that? I'm gonna try to take it slow. We've installed one RAM stick. Please, just don't you dare say OD. <gasps> You're joking. <laughs> I don't wanna go to 16 gigs. I don't. I'll be happy with like 24. It says OD again. OD, OD. It's the next day and believe it or not, I actually fixed it, dude. We got 32 gigs of RAM in here and you know, you, you can see all four sticks and check this out, fam. We in Windows, you know, I can turn on Task Manager. I can prove it, dude. This is possible. But this motherboard, wow. It actually runs the 3950X really well. Now, perhaps I was doing something just very, very wrong with my 2700X, but I am telling you this 3950X right here, this CPU is crazy, man. Not just for Adobe Premiere, which yes, this did speed up Adobe Premiere like tenfold, dude. Oh my God, I can't even begin to describe how much faster this CPU is compared to my 2700X. Like check out this timeline, dude, this is so responsive. It's never been this responsive before in my life. And believe it or not, Adobe Premiere actually takes pretty good advantage of just about every single thread. Uh, the CPU does go up to like 90% usage, 100% usage every now and again, just kind of depends on what I'm doing, but it has made the editing experience 10 times better. And not just editing, this PC in general has never been this snappy and this responsive. Just any application that I launch, 
anything that I do on this PC now, it is way, way, way faster than the 2700X. A genuine, noticeable difference. I don't know if this is because of the IPC improvement or, you know, what the heck they did to this thing, but this is a solid CPU. Oh my god. Even in the previous gen motherboard, this CPU shouldn't even really be in there, but it is supported. This motherboard luckily is somewhat high end, so it ended up working out, man. It really did work out. I am just, I'm just really happy. Wow. And to finish the video off, I am running Cinebench R20, of course, the latest version of Cinebench, all that good stuff. This is the 2700X, you know, you already know the score we got, it's like around 4000 with the 3950X. The highest I got so far was 9258. This might get a little bit more this time, I doubt it, I don't know, maybe it's random. Oh, we got 9229. Cool! Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Big upgrade for the PC in terms of CPU horsepower. The next thing we gotta do though is of course upgrade the graphics card and the motherboard. Should we stay on the X470 platform with this monster CPU? Should we keep using this motherboard? I don't think so. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks things are gonna be changing. We might get a new motherboard and we might just get a new graphics card too. But who's it gonna be from? I don't know. I don't know man. Well, I do know. You don't know, but you're gonna find out real soon. Trust me, in like one, two, maybe three months time, this PC is gonna look so freaking sick. So different to what it looks like now. Maybe we'll do water cooling as well in the future. That would be sick, man. That's the next thing we need to do. Once we get the PC to like where we want it to be at, water cooling is, is definitely the next step forward, right? Custom loop, all that good stuff. Even more RGB, definitely. All right, see you in the next video.